Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Seven Days to Die. Let's try to build the thingamajig. Only we need cloth. The forge. Hey, I actually remembered all the stuff I needed. That's not common to me. If we could build two, that'd be awesome. But one's fine for now. Probably do this at night. <laughs> That's okay. We can build this thing and get it out of the way at least. What do we need for farm plots while we're at it here? Five running flesh per pond pot, 12 nitrate nut per per pot. Okay. Can make one farm plot right now. Not ideal. Limited on food right now. Some of this boiled meat. Boiled meat's actually, unless they've changed it recently, even though it says that it's not as yummy as grilled meat, it, I think it does have the same amount of uh, stamina region. This is your food meter. I don't know why it's, I don't know why this is stamina, but this one is water. <laughs> I think it'd be like hydration or something if it was one that'd be weird like that. I think stamina is the food value of it. But it has the same food value as grilled, but it also has the extra water value. Alright, forge. I'm going to plop you there. Then you're going to get your own uh, chest as well here. So build two chests. Told you I'm very organized. It was just our start it had to be super unorganized in order to make sense. So this chest, food chest, this chest, water chest. Obviously, we have very little both right now, but we'll get there. This one is a raw materials chest. I like to do wood. Fiber and stone, and then that way, when we're shifting things in here, they'll all stack in the same order. Uh, then I like to do like the rotten flesh, bones, animal fat, feathers kind of like all the biological stuff up there. Chrysanthemum can go in the water chest, by the way. Actually, the animal fat can pretty much go in the food chest. It's mostly going to be used for food. And we'll put in... Uh, I knew what I wanted to put there in a second. So, uh, cloth and leather. And then we'll do iron. Lead, nitrate. Then normally we'd have like brass in there as well, but we dropped that behind. It's going to be more cobblestone. We don't need the plant fibers on us. Don't need this much stone on us. Don't need this much wood on us anymore. Probably some sort of separate. These are kind of just building materials, is why I want to kind of separate them. Polymers and stuff I like to put down here. Thing duct tape I like to keep down here because it's kind of important. I like to be able to keep an eye on it. Paper can go there. And this will just kind of be our miscellaneous for now. We'll have ammo for sure. And the stuff to make ammo. I'll put the chainsaw in there as well. Lockpicks, cooking pot. Pick kids. I'll actually put the medicine with like the food, I suppose. This is cooked food, so I'm gonna separate it so I know where cooked cooked food and normal foods at. Same thing kind of going on here. All right. Put the old cash. Also going here. It's like a 
I mostly use it to sell. You can break it down to like a lot of paper, but we don't need tons of paper right now. Alright, send me. Oops. Kinda wanna plant the trees over here on this ridge. It's nice, there's a lot of resources nearby too. I just noticed a nitrate boulder. You can also loot these uh bird nests now without too much trouble. Just wanna get all these down. Planting trees is a little bit annoying. Sometimes your guy shouts because you're technically power attacking to right click. Definitely on the hunt for eggs now. Alright, but our base is done. We should build some stone arrows. Now that our base is done, I would like to go looting. <laughs> we can work on the inside of the base at night. We can also mine at night. We don't really have good tools to mine with here, obviously, but that'll change in the future. Just gotta learn where everything's at. Need some feathers. Obviously stone arrows. Kind of subpar. So I'm not gonna make like a after Absolute metric frig ton of them. That's good for now. Have one base over that way, or one town over that way. One that way and one that way. Looks like that one's a little bit closer, actually. So I'll start over there. talked about before, we just need a bit of basic loot. It's actually not too hard to just find like a iron shovel or an iron fire axe. All those sorts of things. That would really give us the kick in the rear we need. Okay, I'm actually super happy we moved. <laughs> We're still between two cities. They're different cities than the ones we started by, but... Friggin' deer, dude. I also hear a zombie, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I can kill a deer right now, to be honest with you. It's not that they're dangerous, it's just they run away. So I don't think I can do enough damage to them before they get away from me. We got a bunch of corn. Is this all good corn? Can't tell if this is all good corn or all bad corn. I think it's all bad corn. Yeah, it just creates plant fibers. Actually a quick way to get a lot of flat plant fiber, but really what we're looking for. Looking for the good ones. There is good ones in there. Should probably get them just to get us started. I don't know, there might be like yeah. traps. <laughs> the main thing I was looking for though is like a landmine or something. Zombies. thing about these like somewhat rural looking buildings so they could have dogs in them zombie dogs not really armed well enough to fight zombie dogs 
Okay, I don't really need cement, but I do need cobblestone. Although we do have cement at home, so maybe I should just grab both while I'm here. This knife in the knife set right now. <laughs> yeah, the cobblestone is actually useful now because we can upgrade the okay. good old fashioned traps. to run right now. Please let me... Ah! Stop it! You got to stop it! You're freaking Super Saiyan zombie. She won't stop running. Holy shit. That was... not normal behavior out of the zombies. Made a bunch of squishing noise. What the freak is going on here? My stamina wasn't going back up when I was fighting her. I got freaking stuck. in here, which is good for us. Okay, strength. Uh, yeah, I got my increased tool damage and increased block damage and higher level tools. Oh, it's a hog. See, this might be a non-naturally spawned hog. Which kind of has me worried that it's going to attack me. Normally they don't, but the fact this is kind of standing there menacingly has me very concerned. attacks that you're not supposed to be able to get off. You're running very poorly. I know we're infected. The ant or our infection level is really low. It's going to take it a while to climb and we have antibiotics at home. The antibiotics can save you from like a 40% infection. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Now with any luck, because that pig is like spawned in here, there's a chance that it will respawn over time have an infinite meat source. How often will it spawn? I don't know.
saw that shadow moving. I was like, yeah, something's coming. Excuse me. Ooh, it's a snake. I forgot that they exist. spawn in like these set piece buildings. <laughs> it's like I was telling you in the first episode. They love to just put all sorts of traps and tricks on you. There's a freaking call hammer after we've already built our base. <laughs> kind of figures. That's the thing they can build. set to break. I guess I could have built a new shovel there. That's okay. It only uses one stone, I think, so. Dang it. Yeah, the game likes to play all sorts of traps on you. You pretty much just assume that everything is a trap until proven otherwise. attack there. Doesn't matter too much, but he's a lot more stamina. Oh, there's a in the briefcase here. Nothing in it. I keep accidentally hitting the right mouse button. I don't really trust that garage door to hold up. It's almost time to head home. Thought you could trap me, eh? Ah, free it's like There's usually good stuff in those two. A little bit of food never hurt anyone. A little bit of gas never hurt anyone. Oh man, if you came up here you'd be toasted. far from home. Oh, hey, there's a purse back here. Money. Eh. It's worth trading. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, Scoob. Oh, I never put down a new bedroll. Definitely gotta do that. craft a new land crane block. I think they only cost some stone. Sorry, I was taking a drink so I didn't... I wasn't able to turn the mice to look at that. And by mice I mean mouse. Luckily I left a marker on her base otherwise I might be in trouble. Top of this ridge because bird nests tend to appear a little bit more often at the top of the ridges from what I've seen. Action. All right. Oops. 
sweet home. Offer food. The eggs are some food too, but I forgot to drop them. Resources. I actually have a buttload of cement. I guess I'll put the drinks for now. Oh, I had it with the food. Doesn't really matter which. Yeah, and go ahead and eat the sham raw. There's a few things you can make with it, but they're kind of far off for us, I think. Let's get our stamina back up. Let's grab clothes. And these are like really bad. You can make something else with them, I think, too. So we would prefer to save them for that rather than eating them. Claw hammer. Guess I'll leave it in here for now. I do eventually want to keep that on my tool belt at all times. We're not quite to that point. I can actually modify this chainsaw, chainsaw <laughs> with this power tool tank mod. Which gives it a larger max capacity for fuel and we can pump, pump this fuel in the chainsaw and cut trees down if we needed to. But we don't really need to. Alright, bedroll. And fibers. signs so I know which chest is which. I know, I know, I should just know which one's which. But I have a bunch of different games of this going at the same time. The multiplayer. And so I always freaking forget which one's which. Since we can move the bedroll, it doesn't really matter where it goes. We'll just leave it there for now. We also want the... Funny that it's so cheap to make. I don't think it does anything in single player, but we might as well put it down. <clears throat> if we get these nails, we can also make signs. Unfortunately, it takes a lot. Alright, which one's the dead center block? It should be. Sounds like an entire horde. We do not want to mess with them, so I'm just going to be dead quiet. Not move a friggin' muscle. Looks like they're on the roof. Like I heard the sound of wood being walked on. Now the real question is, did they leave, or did they just stop, because they do that. They stopped a little bit past us. They just do that for some reason. Well, they might be going a little bit further. Yeah, it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to do anything outside, if that's your interest. Ah, I should have brought our uh, torch. <laughs> that's okay. We can build more. Let's 
start with these two because they're the ones I'm getting confused right now. Food, meds, uh, resources. There we go. Alrighty. Next step, we have a claw hammer. This isn't going to be nearly as difficult as it was to start with. There you go. Can't get that one because the ladder's in the way. That's okay. We'll go outside at some point and fix the ones we can't get to, which also include the corner blocks. We have one level below us, so this is the one that's mostly going to get attacked. This is like the, effectively be like the second tile on the uh, two block setup we've been doing for defense. So, they can use cobblestone. Makes it much beefier. I think they have like, I don't know, let's use our fists to find out. 1,500 compared to like 250 with these. Not even 250. <laughs> Massive defensive upgrade. Absolutely massive. And that can get upgraded to cement, which I guess we might as well just do it. Right? There's nothing stopping us. There's not really anything else the cement's used for other than doing this. And yes, we turn to cement mix. I forgot. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can make some more bacon and eggs. It's kind of the cornerstone of our diet. Also get this forge going. Doesn't have a lot of the stuff it needs to really get going good. Actually, we don't have much. Don't have much in the way of raw resources, so never mind. We'll have to get mining. Uh oh, also we should take our antibiotics here. plots can we make? Ooh, nitrate powder clay soil. Actually, I need more clay. Make two now, I think. time for this video. Might as well stop it here anyway since it's the dead of night and it's a little bit scary outside. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.